Mandalorian seems like a really, I guess he's a character, he's a character. He seems like a really funny dude. What, what stands out to you just about him every day? Uh, Dorian shows a lot of energy, as you can see. Um, high energy guy, he's uh, really motivating to be around, you know, just watching him, the way he runs around, shows a bright smile on his face every day. You know, it's fun to be around somebody like that. It makes you want to put a smile on your face as well, you know? So that's what I can say about Dorian. Where do you think, where do you feel like you've changed the most since you arrived on campus here a couple years ago? Um, just learning how to play defense, uh, learning where your help is as far as the other defenders on the field, um, learning my keys, fundamentals, with the read on each play, things like that has been a really big uh, thing for me. What's it been like having Jamari back there next to you instead of up in that whip position? I guess it's a little more traditional safety back there with you. Uh, it's great having Tamari back there. You know, that's my roommate, you know, so we're really close. Um, having somebody back there who we have good chemistry together, you know, like we always hang out with each other. So I kind of get understanding when he looks at me, what he's thinking, stuff like that. So it's, it's good having him back there. He's not a very talkative guy around us. Is he more talkative around you guys? Yeah, he talks. Yeah, okay. he talks a lot. It's a media thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what were your takeaways from the scrimmage? Um... It was just a lot of competing. Um, that's really it. Uh, it was going good work uh, going against each other, you know, um, physical. Uh, some young guys had big scrimmages, so yeah. Who stood out to you? Nike Johnson had a big scrimmage. Uh, he had a fumble recovery, so that was pretty good. Um, Cam, Cam Johnson had a big scrimmage. Eli Adams. And what have you seen from a younger guy like Jalen Stroman who seemed to really come along in his freshman year last year. What have you seen in the second offseason? Uh, Stroh is really mature for his age. Um, he's smart. He understands defense as well. Um, so that would be the biggest thing. He's mature. And what are kind of your goals, you know, second year as a starter now, what are your goals for the season and how important is that past starting experience for you entering, you know, another starting season? Um, my goal is just to get better, try to take each day and get be the best person I can be. Um, and go from there. Uh, that's really how I look at it every day. Wake up, trying to be the best person I could be, and then when we get to the season, try to show that I can uh, up my level of play. You seem like you've been a guy who's capable of playing a couple of different spots, or at least knowing that. Have you been just working at one spot? Have they tried to do any other uh, positions? Uh, in the spring, we moved around. We all went left and right safety, so we all got like a, a good understanding of both sides. So I would say, like, yeah, I know basically every position. So I'm pretty. Uh, Good with that. Are they locking you into one side now? That, that, that campus? I'm not as sure. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we still got to see. We still um, have with three scrimmages to go. So yeah. How would, I know you're in the safety portion of the DB room and the cornerback side's got that is Derek and his Cheetah mentality. But mm -hmm. what, how would you define that? Because I know obviously there's a lot of overlap in the DB spot. The cheetah, the, the cheetah, cheetah mentality. mentality. How we um, from the outside looking in, uh, Coach Jones himself, he's a great guy too. He shows a lot of energy, just like you said, like Dorian shows a lot of energy. As far as the cheetah mentality, I would say is running to the ball full speed, um, going out and taking the ball, not being a person just waiting, being aggressive, taking the ball, and tracking and attacking is the main thing that we work on, talk about, that they preach on. So I would say that's the cheetah mentality. And then uh, have you had the uh, have you had the cheetah wing? No, nah, I never had the cheetah wings. Um, barbecue, that's, that's really it. <laughs> What's it the, like playing for a coach who was in the NFL for a decade? I know he was like this is a player personnel guy before, but now he's like your direct coach. Um, it's good. Like It's like motivation. You see somebody who's been in shoes that you want to be in. You know, It makes you think like you need to listen to him, obviously. Um, and just he can share tips, tricks that he's seen, that he's been through. So it's... Honestly, it's humbling to see somebody like that. What's the best tip he's given you to longevity in the NFL? Uh, do make the do the little things right. Recovery is a, is a big thing, and um, try to get on special teams and try to show effort at everything you do.